Hello everybody and welcome to Kerbal Space Program Career Mode with me, Reinstein. Today I've got an awesome mission which I've been looking forward to showing you. And it is a contract we've been given which is to extract 450 units of ore from Gilly. Now, obviously we don't know where the ore is on Gilly. So first of all, I'm going to need to set up a some sort of probe or scanner to find out where the ore is. And you can see uh, the cost of it in the bottom left hand corner here is 57,753. Now the numbers are important because for this contract I'm going to get approximately 350,000. Now to talk you through my rocket. So essentially all it is is like an unmanned probe. It's got some solar panels, some batteries, enough to power it to get to Gilly. Obviously Gilly, if you remember, is a moon of Eve and it I, I find I found that I find found this rocket is good enough. I've tested it already. This is enough to get me to Eve. 9,500 Delta V. Now on the top here is the survey scanner. All you got to do is deploy the scanner uh, in a polar orbit of the moon or planet, and below below 75,000, above 25,000, something like that meters, and uh, do a scan. And then you'll find out where your ore is. So that is the first part of the rocket. Now, on to the second part of the mission. So, we're going to have two separate launches. One to scan for the ore, another to mine for the ore. Now, this took a lot of consideration on how to build this. I'm still not fully sure if it will work, but I believe it will. Now, you can see a total delta V in the top left of 9,720, which should be ample to get us there, as it was with our um, scanner. And the cost is 173,000. So our total costs are coming in at around 230, 240,000. So we're making about 100,000 profit on this mission by doing this. Now these here are small holding tanks. They hold 300 ore each. And you can see we need 450 units of ore. So I can hold 600 with these. They're empty. Um, and then, we, then I just needed to consider how the hell am I gonna land this thing? I needed to have enough thrust to weight ratio to uh, be able to land it nicely. Now I've got four of these little tiny rock uh, liquid fuel engines here and a little uh, terrier liquid fuel engine under there with a little bit more fuel just to connect it to the um, advanced reaction wheel. Now it's a, these docking ports that are on the side and the front here are important because eventually if I want to take something up there to connect to these and um, decouple these so look I've got more ports there I can then disconnect them and hopefully fly them up to an orbiting space station now on the back here is the Drillomatic Junior mining excavator now if I show you that in the uh, menu here on the top left that requires three uh, electric per second now I can easily provide that with these solar panels which provide 21 per minute so that's sort of What's that? That's about 0.3 per second. And I've got eight of them. So that should should just about provide enough, I think. Thinking about it, maybe we need a few more. Uh, let's put four more on. The math doesn't add up. Just quick math while I'm doing this. All right, so that's our rocket. Join you on the launch pad. So a slight change of plan in my presentations. Basically, I didn't want to show you the whole launch of this rocket. So I've now managed to get almost almost into an orbit of Gilly now remember this is the scanning uh, part of my mission as it turns out I later found out I didn't really need to do the scanning part of the mission so I could have actually made more profit on this could have just landed my mining rocket on here but anyway I wanted to do it you know properly this is how they would do it in real life so why shouldn't I so I managed to get into a uh, an orbit but then you need to be on a 90 degree inclination so you're basically rotating around the poles of the planet in order to use the M700 scanner so that's what I'm doing here just performing a little maneuver to get there now the gravity on this thing is so small that in hindsight it probably would have been better if I'd have had a less powerful um, thruster on my rocket because adjusting it was really quite difficult there we are I love deploying uh, my little scanner and getting rid of the airstream protective shell that's freaking sweet so you can see here 
I'm still not at the right degree to perform this um, maneuver, so I had to change it ever so slightly again. Um, need to get within 90 degrees now. The good thing is the flight engineer on the right hand side, you can see where it says inclination. I need to just get that as close to 90 as I can, so hopefully now it will work. And it did. It took a bit of faffing around in order to get it. But uh, you perform a scan, toggle overlay, and then switch the screen, and you can see it's all purple. Now, if this isn't an exact science. If you use a different scanner on the surface, it shows you more details. Uh, but there was the ore. So here we are. This is the launch phase of the actual mining rig. The mining rig is on the top there. I was going to land it in one part, as I showed you in the previous section. Now, I wanted to show you how much better I have got at the gravity burn. Uh, under instruction from Omar Garcia, dude, you are a freaking legend. I thought uh, I could I could do this. So you can see I've actually got my thruster really quite low here. I wanted to preserve as much fuel as I could. So if you take a look on the right, on the vessel, Delta V total was actually climbing for a while. So I got it up to 8,400 meters per second, roughly. So then I start tilting. And between sort of 15 and 30,000, by the time I get to 30,000, I want to be tilted to the right um, 45 degrees, 90 on the little nav ball down there. So I'm nearly there at 30,000 meters. So this is essentially enabling me to use gravity as an assistant, as an assist, well, get my rockets to work in line with gravity in order to pull my rocket around into an orbit. Now I'm not going to actually achieve a proper orbit. What I am going to do is perform a burn at the apoapsis. I think this is right. Um, in order to escape the gr uh, escape, yeah, escape, you know, curb in orbit. Uh, once I'm out into the orbit of Kerbal, the sun, uh, the name of the sun in Kerbin space, Kerbal Space Program, then I can begin my maneuver to EVE, so I just launch in my rocket as fast as I can, decouple that stage, launch this next stage, and away we go into the great beyond. Now, I've never ever done a mining mission before, ever, in the whole history of me playing Kerbal Space Program, so I thought I was going to do this one properly. So here we are, onto the next stage, and this is where, in order to get an, um, an encounter with uh, Gilly, then you really need to uh, perform a inclination burn. I don't know what you exactly call it, but I need to change the angle of inclination in my orbit here, um, just so it makes it a lot easier. You want to get the descending and ascending nodes as close to zero as you can. So I did that. Then it was a case of getting a final encounter with the planet. Once I'm in orbit of the planet, then I can try and get my rendezvous with Gilly. So here we go, burning like a boss, just trying to get there as quick as I can. There we go, we lost a little bit of, uh, we run out of fuel, so we have to switch on to the next stage. And there we go, there's my encounter. So we skip past that, here's my encounter with uh, Eve. I believe it's Eve, I forgot what planet it is now. <laughs> anyway, so we need to get in, in orbit of that. Now once you're in orbit of um, the planet, then Gilly's got a weird... Uh, angle of inclination so you can just sort of see it here I needed to perform another burn at the ascending node in order to get that as close to zero as I could um, once I've done that again it makes it a lot easier to get an encounter you can get an encounter without it but uh, it's a lot easier I think to do it this way maybe it wastes fuel I'm not exactly sure that's why I always build a little bit of extra fuel into my rockets because no way am I an expert in any of these maneuvers but uh, I have my brute force approach and it works. So here we go, let's perform a little burn, get our angle of inclination in line with Gilly. There we go, lovely jubbly. Um, next up, there's our encounter. So we had to perform a very precise burn. I haven't shown you all of it because I had to change this quite a few times in order to get an exact encounter. Because like I said, the thruster on my rocket was so strong that uh, I easily missed the encounter. But anyway, I managed to get it. And then it was time to orbit Gilly and start thinking about where the hell do I want to land. So uh, perform a slight burn here. The gravity, like I said, the gravity on this thing, it has to be one of the lowest in, in the Kerbal solar system. Um, 
I even overburned there. And then I switched to my other rocket just to see where all the ore deposits are. So I'm thinking, where do I want to land? How the hell am I going to tally all this up? Where, exactly, you know, how am I going to do it in order to land on a purple bit? Um, eventually, I'm just like, hmm. I was thinking about lining them up, lining the two rockets up, but there was no need to do that. Managed to get into a, a maneuver where I could start thinking about landing and it just took forever hence why I've sped this video up quite a lot because landing on here I mean I was ended up descending at about three meters per second it just took me maybe 20 30 minutes of me slowly descending um, I even had to burn towards the ground in the end because it was just taking so long it tested my patience <laughs> so that's like the landing spot where I'm looking to to land now I've still got one final stage here I need to use as much fuel from this stage as I can you can see there's a bit too much really and look how easy it is to just maneuver my rocket over it there's just barely anything pulling you down to the surface um, so I did a little bit but a little bit of a retrograde burn here trying to land and then in we come to the landing zone look look how slowly it's descending like 1.5 meters per second using um and it just sort of dr ends up drifting so i'm like rotating my rocket i'm like come on just land fly down towards the ground look see i'm like pointing it downwards and slowly slowly i'm coming into land for some reason there was no descending uh node on my nav ball there or retrograde thing so I just had to guess which way should, which way I should be burning and look a tiny little thrust from my rockets end up ends up sort of lifting me up in the air again I'm like come on man how the hell how hard is this thinking about it I'm never ever gonna build a full mining outpost on this planet it was a contract so I you know I wanted to complete it but uh, it, it's not really feasible it would just take too long I think a mining outpost on the moon will be our eventual goal because then we can lift up fuel into orbit and uh, you know rendezvous there with uh, a rocket refuel after exiting Kerbin um, yeah and then go on further into the solar system so anyway I deploy my drill start harvesting little did I know how slow the the one drill fills up these tanks so it's going to be years before I complete this contract I think so I'm fast forwarding it just to try and see if it has any impact on the ore. It does eventually start to fill up, but like I say, it takes absolutely ages. So in hindsight, maybe I could have landed a rocket with two drills on it. That would have, you know, obviously cut in, cut in half the amount of time it takes to fill, it, fill these tanks up. But, you know, you live and learn. So eventually I will complete this contract. Um, they do fill eventually you just need to fast forward a hell of a lot so that is pretty much the story of my mining mission uh, it has no actual value to my science program in Kerbal Space Program not that I I don't think so anyway uh, maybe I'll fly past here sometime and I could use the fuel that's why I've got the docking ports on here but as a proof of concept it works so I'm happy you can see my ore filling up there anyway thanks for watching guys please join me on the next episode